All right, so we have all our content in for our headline, but now we have to focus on our sign-up form over here. Well, I'll tell you, sign-up forms have a lot of complexity. Let, but just from a purely HTML standpoint, right, HTML, CSS, um, you have to know the code that creates the forms and how to style them properly. Okay, that's not rocket science. I mean, that's not the hardest thing. You could pick that up quickly. Um, but you need some kind of form validation, meaning um, how do you know if the user actually put in something in here? Let's just say just put content in the input form altogether. Um, that takes a little JavaScript. Now, even further on than that, you know, we're asking for an email address. What if they end up putting their phone number or they put their first and last name and hit subscribe or something silly like that? So there's even more validation. So it's not just like a JavaScript to say, yes, it's it entered or no, it's not. It has to go a little more advanced than that, right, to make sure it's an email address. And once they click the subscribe button, well, then what? There's a whole bunch of other activity that needs to happen, meaning that this, you know, we can't sign someone up. Uh, we can't sign someone else up on their behalf using their email because it's like the equivalent of spam. So what ends up happening is that then an email confirmation is going to go to their email. So we need some kind of what's well, a PHP script that sends the email out to them through our web server to have them confirm their subscription. Um, once they do that, we want them to be added to a list for emailing, and then we want to get as the administrators a notification um, that they subscribed or that there's a new user. Long story short, well, long story short, it's a long story, <laughs> but there's a lot of complexity, and forms represent some of the most important, if not the most important, function in your web page or your website. I mean, this this thing right here is how you're going to connect with your audience. As great as this one recipe is going to be, that means that you'll get someone to come to your website once or twice whenever they want to make spring rolls. But if you're going to keep on adding stuff to your site, you want to remind people, oh, hey, I got, you know, now I got uh, whatever, beef chicken satay or whatever you, you know what I'm saying you gotta you want to keep keep your visitors connected and keep that traffic going so let's take out the complexity and use a third-party service like MailChimp now MailChimp for very small situations like this and you know with some features taken out is completely free so what you're gonna want to do is sign up for free over here if it looks a little different you know blah 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 just sign up, create an account, and I, I've already done this. It takes a little time because you sign up and then an email verification comes in. I noticed that these guys are a little bit slower than a lot of other people with sending a confirmation email because um, I first signed up for this. I was recording the video, and it took like a good 15 minutes for me to get the email confirmation to come in. But it came, so um, I just went ahead and signed up. It'll ask you for some stuff that you want to put in and... Uh, that's not rocket science. You could figure that part out on your own. But once you're actually good and signed in, or good and you have an account set up, um, this is where you're going to be, and this is where we're going to start. So what we're talking about here is creating, uh, adding people to an email list, right? Because it's going to be our you know newsletter list or whatever. Um, so we're going to start in MailChimp at the lists option over here and it says we have no lists um, because this is what we're trying to build we're trying to build a subscriber list so we're gonna create a list and uh, yummy recipes website yeah yummy recipes website okay who's it coming from um, yummy recipes oh no this is gonna be the email address so let's just I'll just put down my own okay and um, just we'll fill in all the information remind people how they uh, got to your list um, let's go thanks for signing up on our yummy recipes website okay cool 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 so how do we want to get the notifications one by one sure I suspect I'm going to have very low subscription rate over here. Uh, okay, so we don't have any subscribers yet. That's 
exactly right. Um, we're going to create a sign up form now because we need a form to add people to the list. And of the options that we have, we need an embedded form because we want it to generate HTML that we're going to copy and paste into our document. So let's see what we got over here. Here's our most basic form, and it says subscribe, cool. Um, let's see, that's classic, super slim. Eh, I probably want a little. What do we want? We want them to at least put their name in so that when we're emailing them, they go, hey, Dragos, here's a new recipe, that kind of thing, because we'll be able to set that up. Um, advanced, naked. Eh, let's go to classic. This is fine. Um, first, last name, that is all fine. Just trying to see if there's any other fields that we want. Let's see, form, so only required fields. So we could actually go here into our form builder if we wanted to add uh, some stuff. You know, the only thing I'm going to do, I don't even need their first and last name. I want to even make it even easier for them. Um, I'm going to, I'm only asking for two fields, you know, because people, more fields, less likely they're going to fill it out, you know. That's how people are. That's how I'm sure we are. We don't even realize it. Um, and here we go. Give me your name, uh, save it, and then um, we may be even able to change this if we wanted to. What does this say? Ah, okay. Subscribe to list. Okay. It all looks good to me. I mean, we could actually, I'll probably remove this. We could poke around and see what whatever we want over here, you know. So, um, well, you know, what we don't want to do is have any kind of fancy design or anything like that. We just want it to be very basic because uh, the only reason we're actually doing this is to get an embeddable form, you know. So I'm done with that. I click back on lists. And let's see. Let's find out where we can. Settings. And... Now I lost that page, but let's get it right back. Embeddable forms. There we go. Oh, here we go. Kind of click back. This is the magic that we're looking for right in here, right?